Botulism is a bacterial toxin that can cause severe paralysis and even death. If botulism is suspected, take your cat to a veterinarian very once. Botulism is a dangerous kind of food poisoning caused by bacteria that develop when food decomposes, such as meat or plants. It has an effect on individuals who consume it by producing a strong toxin that damages various systems in the body. It is classified as an intoxication rather than an infection since the germs do not need to infect the host in order to induce severe symptoms, but rather are swallowed. Botulism may harm a wide range of species, including humans, companion animals such as cats, farm animals, and wild animals. It is not infectious, although it can make many animals sick if they eat the same contaminated food. Cats are less prone to get botulism than other animals because they are pickier eaters and have a higher resistance to the disease. Botulism Symptoms Signs of botulism typically develop hours to days after ingesting contaminated meat, though the onset can be delayed up to six days. Clinical signs vary depending upon the amount of toxin ingested, although the earlier onset of clinical signs is typically associated with more severe disease. Botulism often affects the body in a characteristic way. The rear legs are often the first part of the body to be affected, and weakness in the rear legs is often the first sign of disease. Within 24 hours, this weakness progresses to include the front legs, as well as the muscles of the head and face. No matter how you get botulism, the symptoms are usually the same. The most defining symptom is a weakness that starts on both sides of your face, goes down to your neck, and then to the rest of your body. Other early symptoms include Double or blurred vision Drooping eyelids Difficulty swallowing Slurred speech Shortness of breath other symptoms that can follow include vomiting, belly pain, and diarrhea. Later, you may have a very hard time urinating and have severe constipation. Symptoms do not include a fever. If you don't get treatment, your symptoms could progress to paralysis of your arms and legs and the muscles used for breathing. Infants with botulism have symptoms that include Lethargy Poor muscle tone starting in the head and neck and moving down Poor feeding Drooling Weak cry Symptoms of wound botulism are similar to general botulism but may take about two weeks to appear. They also can include Fever Skin redness, swelling, and other signs of infection. Symptoms of inhalation botulism are the same as those for general botulism but usually happen more quickly. Respiratory failure can occur. Symptoms of adult intestinal toxemia are similar to infant botulism. Symptoms are the same as general botulism but may also include Constipation Poor feeding. Lack of energy, lethargy. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Causes of botulism in cats. Botulism is a type of food poisoning caused by bacteria. It occurs when an animal ingests tainted food. Decomposing carrion, garbage, Spoiled food, compost, and moldy items can be sources of the bacteria. The most common cause of botulism in cats is ingesting a found carcass, raw meat from inside the home, or items from the trash. Symptoms are caused by the endotoxin produced by the bacteria. The toxin has a negative impact on multiple body systems. Diagnosis of botulism in cats Botulism can be difficult for a veterinarian to diagnose, as other bacteria or causes can result in similar symptoms. Paralysis is the most common symptom of the disease, so it should be suspected in pets with this or related symptoms. It is also hard to properly test for as the bacteria may not be present in fluids or tissues. Stomach or intestinal contents as well as fecal matter or urine can be tested, but results still might be unreliable in identifying if botulism is the cause of your cat's paralysis. The most common way to diagnose botulism in cats is by ruling out other likely causes of paralysis. Your veterinarian will want to discuss your cat's eating habits. Be prepared to provide the details on whether your pet eats canned foods, shares table scraps, gets into the trash, or is likely to have eaten something it found outdoors. They may also have questions about the onset of symptoms in your cat's medical history. A physical examination will be performed, and x-rays or other imaging might be needed to determine if the lungs are affected, as respiratory paralysis is often the cause of fatalities in animals with botulism. Botulism Treatment if botulism exposure is known or suspected before the onset of clinical signs, the antitoxin can be administered. The antitoxin prevents the botulinum toxin from binding to nerve endings and causing clinical signs. Once signs of paralysis develop, the antitoxin is not effective. 
Once signs have developed, treatment of botulism is focused on supportive care. This supportive care will require hospitalization. Depending on the severity of your cat's signs, she may require hospitalization at a facility with an intensive care unit. The signs of botulism will typically resolve with time, and supportive care decreases the likelihood of complications. Affected cats should be kept hospitalized on soft bedding, to prevent pressure sores. Mildly affected cats may need assistance with eating or drinking, while more severely affected cats may require intravenous fluids to prevent dehydration and a stomach tube for feeding. Many affected cats lose the ability to empty their bladder, so the veterinary staff may need to manually express your cat's bladder regularly or place a urinary catheter to keep the bladder empty. Your cat may require ointment to keep the eyes moist, if she is unable to blink, or antibiotics to treat secondary infections that may occur. If your cat's diaphragm becomes paralyzed, a mechanical ventilator may be used to allow her to breathe. Recovery of botulism in cats Botulism in cats can be life-threatening, but if treatment is begun early enough most pets will make a full recovery. This can occur in as little as 10 days from the onset of symptoms but may take several weeks. During this time it is important your pet receives the supportive care they need. Hospitalization will be required until paralysis has passed and your pet is able to eat, drink, pass urine, and have bowel movements without aid. Once at home, continue to support your pet as needed with these activities. Carefully monitor their food and water intake to ensure they are getting the nutrition they need. Your pet may continue to be lethargic or have trouble with movements for some time, so you should try to limit their activity levels. To prevent future infections, be sure that source material has been removed and made inaccessible to your cat. If you're not sure where your pet may have ingested the toxin, check areas they have access to. Remove any carcasses and old food. Restrict your pet's access to the trash indoors and outdoors. Never feed your pet raw or undercooked meats, as this is a common source of botulism in cats. Living in management. Because it is easier to prevent this disease than treat it, you should never allow your cat to eat dead carcasses or spoiled raw meat. If you live in a rural area where this is a possibility, you will need to be on guard, as far as checking your property regularly for the presence of dead animals. Likewise, in an urban area, where cats come into contact with rodents and other foraging animals, you will need to be aware of the symptoms of various diseases that can affect your cat as a result of eating these animals. In addition, you should always feed your cat food that has been thoroughly cooked. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.